Hello, welcome to the week here on Going Optimal. I have asked chat what to draft. Well, technically we have Theros Beyond Death quick draft we could do, which I'm hoping to dip my toe into later, but figured we're still on Kaldheim as our main event here. And we chose best of three today, narrow, narrow vote. But we are gonna do a best of three. And that means I just need to keep my pace of play in mind. And uh, if we draft something more grindy to uh, not fall prey to that trap. So keep keeping my keeping my mind on that play uh, quickly on the early turns if I can. It's hard though. I also just need to forgive myself if I'm uh, uh, giving some time up in the name of entertainment and talking to chat and all that and uh, remembering that <laughs> the, what's on the line here. It's a it's a it's a match of it's a magic event. It's not. It's not world peace. It is not anything hyper important. It's just us hanging out and playing magic. And that's another thing that I, I'm kind of saying this to you as a way to say it to myself. I had a rough leaf la week last week. I was fed up with magic, fed up with gaming. I was, you know, I was having rough times in my other games too. So it was like my board game arena, my water, like all this stuff was just, I was feeling bad last week about gaming and I think I can wrap too much of my identity up in gaming success. You know, we, the world tells you what you're great at, right? You're, you know, you get compliments in your life, hopefully, from people telling you, oh, you're good at this, you're good at that. And you start to build your identity around those things. And then when those are suffering a little bit, when, when you're shaky, when you're not having the results you want to see there, you feel like your own, your whole identity is being picked apart by short-term results. And it's really an unhealthy mental attitude I was having last week about that. And I'm going to try and be much healthier about it this week. That's all I can do too, is recognize that uh, I'm an emotional guy about this stuff and it works to my advantage in many, many ways. I just need to mitigate the places where I let it harm my mental health. And I think I was letting it harm my mental health la last week and I'm trying to mitigate it this week. And I have this week, you want to get something for your tabletop magic game. Just like last week, you should check out my sponsor, CardKingdom.com. They are purveyors of everything you need for your tabletop game. If you're frustrated with uh, the way things are going across your spouse who's beating you up and down with their latest masterpiece, well, figure out what will defeat it and order up some copies from CK. They'll land at your mail slot before you can believe it. And then you'll turn those tables just like I'm going to turn them this week and, uh, and get back on this horse and at least have some fun. I'm again. I'm. I'm not like get back on this horse and go three zero. If we go three zero, great. If I go o two, four o two o four here, okay. That's I can. I just need to be able to do that with some, a little more class. That's my. That's my plan. Lose with a little more class and uh, recognize how lucky I am to uh, have losing at magic be one of the things that makes me mad in life. Because you know, if you're someone for that gets emotional about Magic the Gathering losses, it probably means. All things considered, you're in a you're in a decent spot. You know, you've got some resources, you've got a computer, uh, you've got uh, people to play magic against. You know, so let's keep a good perspective on things as we head in here. I am going to continue to use gems. Uh, I'm building up a little bit of gold now because now there, there's enough uh, value opportunities for gold buy-ins that we've seen from the open that I want to get my gold up to in the mid 20k as well. So that's what I'm going to do here and buy in with gems and hop to draft view for you. Yeah, hey, my stream deck buttons are working, right? Life is great. Magic be darned. Ah, uh, coffee is drained. Better move this out of my way or I'll just sip on an empty cup for the rest of the morning. But I may take a break to get a beverage in a little bit. This record just exists to torture me, I'm pretty sure. It's never where I want it to be in any scene. So clearly, like, moving in one scene, like, maybe I've got a... With 
Streamlabs, you can duplicate a thing or you can make a reference to it. I probably have some reference where I move it in one place and it's moving it where I don't want it in a different place. Oh, well, I'll put it on the to-do list and I'm sure I'll get right on it. There's also the fact that Streamlabs lags incredibly, so every keystroke is like a delay. Oh, well, to be fair, Hodge, I started late this morning. I had some uh, morning errands go sideways on me, so I wasn't really, I wasn't even uh, talking until 20 past today, basically. <laughs> I, I tried to uh, do a little catch up, but then then I started talking, and before I knew it, Roberts the Roberts were hassling me. Guy just wants to talk, and suddenly Roberts are hassling him. Does that ever happen to you? You're just talking, and then some Robert comes up and is like in your face about. Only one red card in the pack. I that always I, it's not a, a good enough one to take here, but I take note of that. Really, uh, we've got uh, the the rare is nice, but very heavy green, uh, glittering frost, snow covered island, fall of the imposter is interesting, but not in an a color pair I'm chasing or anything, and not necessarily first pick. Yeah, green is the. Yeah, green is the best baseline color to do all the color stuff. So, yeah, I'm agree with I agree with Borg. It's not a great pack. I wish that like if there was a Demon Bolt or a if any of the top commons were available, I think would you take a, that's an interesting question. If there was a wolf in this pack, would you take it over the troll? I think I'd take the troll. It's just that like the, the there's nothing there's nothing here even really competing with it pretty very heavily. So, I'm just wondering what you would do if there was a real contender in the pack. Yeah, there you go. Breeden is like, nope, troll all day. Borg is like, pack made over troll for sure. So that's, at least that's interesting. And we get rewarded pretty pretty immediately with a binding, which is going to be worth taking. There's a Shimmer Drift Veil and a Spirit. Um... Yeah, Spirit is also justifiable. It uh, will help fix for things like old growth toll. Yeah, this fixes too, though. This is a four mana snow fixer. This is a four mana snow fixer that destroys one of their permanents. I think I'm going to take the binding. That's true. The spirit is second color, quote, more open. But when you're starting green, it's like all the second colors are open all the time, it feels like. Here I saw it coming, jumps out, or a squash. Squash or saw. Trickster is a good card when you cat when it gets cast. Um... Yeah, I suppose Squash is a little more splashable, even though this is uh, usable on Fortel. But there's also enough uh, sh shape-shifting in green that Squash can be a two-mana spell here. Uh, we've got a Frostbite, which, if we're heading down red, isn't the worst. Uh, Snow-Covered Plains isn't our favorite. And then there's Lindy. But I think it's uh, Frostbite or Lindy, depending on whether we want to go early or late. Helm is also interesting, but I don't feel like we're on a Helm path as cleanly as we are on support. Uh, like... And this... This is... Uh, I think we take Lindy. Yeah, the, this is removal that I, I like in the aggro decks, 
where I'm trying to slot in early removal to clear blockers. Uh, but for especially for this kind of deck that we're headed towards, I like the, the big Lindworm. Tree line is an on color snow duel. Sculptor sets us up for some, yeah, pro like we don't have anything to untap with it yet, but we have a lot of time. And if this were a better, if this were a green, anything other but white than white, I think I would take it over the sculptor here. But we can take a sculptor at this spot, I think. Ice hide is interesting. Snowlands, of course, are uh, disappearing from the packs. No surprise there. Nobody, I don't think, expected them to. Um, we could still take an ice hide, figuring that we're going to try and fight for some of this snow, even though some, you know, we're not. This is not early in the format. We're not just going to get get it uh, hooked up to us, hooked up for us. But uh, it doesn't take much, especially if you get that th those glittering frosts. Glittering frosts are such a friend of ice hide troll because it gives you both of the snow you need. Reinforcements a consideration, but I I don't like it. I mean, we're definitely green. And I don't love the reinforcements alongside the Green's plan. So I'm going to take the troll. Another troll. So we could take this and really just now with Sculptor Troll Troll and uh, Binding of the Gods that if, if we get any snow forest, boom, we have a snow forest fetch. So I still think we take an Ice Eyed Troll and try to fight for the snow. It's a little late to like, I mean, Battlefield Raptor still being here is something like there's clearly uh, in the Story Seeker, there's a Boros deck we could have been in. Breeden's worried about the lack of Snowlands. I'm not yet. I'm going to I'm going to do this and I feel like uh, we can force the issue coming up successfully. Sentinel could help with a splash color. Mirror Lake, though, if we do end up uh, blue is, you know, it's got the double green in the activation, so we're already heading towards the ability to activate this, and, and even if we're not main blue, green again is the, you know, if we get the uh, glittering frost, we can end up making blue without even having uh, an island in the deck. So, Kinseekers, Skullcairn, a little too red to be worthwhile, but Bind and Kinseekers are both interesting here. Um, Squash wants the Kinseekers. I like Bind more when I'm uh, in a tempo-based deck where I'm trying to win quickly and they can't... I'm going to take Kinseekers narrowly. I'm just pretty down on Bind. This is interesting, though. I wouldn't mind a Veil, but uh, Sulphurous Mire is great. Trickster, Gods, Heist, or Grim Draugr? We got the Sulphurous Mire. We can take the Draugr, I think. Oh, yeah, Seize is interesting, too. We have enough with uh, the Sulphurous mile and, uh, Mire and Squash. I think I do like the Seize. Seize does something I can see us needing. I mean, if this draft goes great, like I'll even, I'm gonna hope the draft goes great and then we don't play either the Jas the Sentinel or the Spoils, but if we have to, I'm glad we have them. I don't think this is a Helm deck, but with the with picking this up here, I mean, maybe there is some low down green red we could do. I just don't see it really. Mythic here. Uh, if you are gem light, if you're often running up against your gem count and you care about collection building, no shame in mythic drafting, even if you're not going to play the card. Um, we could end up taking this and playing the sword side. It's unlikely we're going to uh, maybe do the double white, but we can even take it and, and potentially run it. Again, it's also an opportunity cost thing. I mean, what are we taking if not? We're looking at it like an augury raven or a, a helm. Bergy? I guess Bergy's kind of the pick. I 
uh, if not the sword. But that's a heck of an equipment, right? I think we can take the sword. I hate playing against that sword, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> Yeah, we could also just end up green, white, or whatever. Um, Path to the World Tree, though, says we could maybe get there all over the place. Avenger, interesting, but I think uh, Path, try to wheel, pick, or rune. I don't know if we're going to get any of these on the wheel, but I like trying the Path. Early enough to see if we can get there, and then we can start prioritizing things like this that really help on the path. Although what we really want are ETB, we want the green snow duels because we have the uh, binding. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we can take Narfi though. Narfi is uh, tempting. But yeah, I'm also thinking like we are, we're trying to splash this sword, right? I think we got to be grown-ups and, and if, like, I've, I've taken two Ice Hide Trolls, we had a Sculptor of Winter, we're trying to do a pat, we, like, we got to get the actual lands here. And now we get the test, like, I think we probably just need Sculptor number two or Poison the Cup over the Spirit. The Spirit, like, we had, last time we had a chance at the Spirit, by the end of the draft, we could have played it. But I think we're even worse here than we were uh, before. Yeah, it's Sculptor of Poison. This is really, really important for what this deck is trying to accomplish. But then, obviously, this is incredible removal, right? All right, I'm going to take the incredible removal, especially because I do want to play this binding. But that was a tough pick and found it tough to make. We can do a feed, a helm, or uh, even a Firia. I didn't feel I was white enough to consider that verdict, no. Well, it's not a double spell deck, but you don't need to be dedicated double spell. All you need to do is fire off two spells one time and you're immediately happy with Furia. Uh, but Feed is probably the grown-up option. Uh, yeah, double black in any case, but I mean, like, we don't really have a, a standout second color yet, and we've got Poison now. I'm going to take Feed. You say double black is tough, but I feel like we're already we're already heading there in a lot of different directions. We've got poison the cup, which I know you can foretell for the single black, um, and I really want to make sure we're binding. So I don't know if we if we were to lean towards a second color where we would have double, I could see it being black. Glade warden, I think, is kind of medium. You like. I almost, yeah, I comment the Kennel Master more. But it is a uh, shapeshifter, at least. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like either of those. I kind of let it time out on that particular space here, though. We're going to take Snow Duel. I want this Elder Hall. If we're going to be heavy black, I wouldn't mind a Raven, but Snow Duel. Yeah, definitely a consideration, but I gotta I gotta follow through on our I wanna hit the sculptor stuff and path stuff. Arcanist. Not really there on Arcanist yet in terms of any doubling. We could just take another snowland. It's a uh, helps with the black, helps with this. Yeah, more snowlands. Black snow duel, not the worst. If we're gonna be heavy black though, maybe we just want a disciple. Heavier black. Also, just take the Swamp. Frostpire, interesting choice, too. I think if we uh, take a land, though, we should take the Swamp, which is what I just did. Here's the Kennel Master now. For what it matters, not taking anything else. Really, I, I don't even... I already have one Sentinel. I mean, I, you, are we ever going to play two? All right, I mean, I'll take it. I...
don't know about blue yet. We're at least going to play the mirror lake. Uh, way down or roots. I think we can probably get away with a way down. Here's that. Here's a bind we can take. No, so just a shield mate. They do similar jobs here. Iron verdict. I took verdict. I don't think we're we're actually more white than we are blue at this point, right? So let's just take the uh, white removal. This is where I don't mind getting the verdicts, though, right? Last pickish. Yeah, Hawk. Probably not. Ice tunnel appealing. But a second poison. Second poison, ice tunnel. Yeah, I probably just need second poison, right? Pivot to Reckless Crew. Pablo, it's not Friday. Yeah, what if we cut the Seekers to, to drive home that really we're, uh, heck, we're not even really red. You know, like at this point, you know, we play the squash because we can, but really we're playing red and blue for uh, path more than anything. It's another good snow duel for us. There's also a pretender, but I don't know if we're doing anything. Uh, looks like we've got, yeah, we've got, we got trolls and warriors, but nothing really as a standout color pair. So we'll take the duel. A little worried about our uh, playable count, which is what happens when you take a lot of snow duels, right? Because if we, if we cut all these lands, we still have a lot of playables to fill it out. Red, white. I really want a green one of these. We just haven't gotten... We, we passed a green, white one at some point. Um, yeah, we can slay trolls here, I suppose. Do we have enough big stuff? I've been a little disappointed by Arnie, but we have enough big stuff to run it, I guess. I found it to be situationally very good, and situationally I can't play this for any value. The The floor on Arnie is just awful, uh, and I've experienced the floor sometimes, and so it has me a little off it that way. Yeah, we can take a U. Uh, the Meyer is still here, though. That's uh, the... Um, U does get us Lindy. At some point, we have, at some point we do need to w cast things and win. <laughs> All right, people want the U. I'm torn here, uh, but our creature count is low, very low. Lindy, or I don't think we have enough density of a single type, so we probably just want another Lindy. I don't like this deck at all. What's going on here? I like getting a second Lindy. I just, I'm wondering how we're going to get there. By like playing recluses and being willing to, willing to block with them at, <laughs> at any point. Uh, Doomscar Titan is powerful, but yeah, we need early drops that are going to get us to our Lindy's. Cardor could do it too, but this does it for a little bit cheaper. And uh, on our main color. Like, we're going to reliably be able to cast this on three when we need to, so I, I think we got to do that. Floodplain over Outrider. Can we afford that? 27, 26, 25, 4, 3, 2, 2, 3, 20. We only have 20 playables right now. So, yeah, we need to... Uh, we need... We, we're a little low on playables for this many pack picks left in the pack, so got to take a creature here. Horizon Seeker is a great pickup. Inga, interesting, but Seeker is where we're at here. Mentor, not even bad for us in that it 
fills out the curve a bit, put some bodies on board. I don't love this, but... It's something. Pretender or kin seekers. Let's what's our uh, shapeshifter count? We got only one shapeshifter. We got six warriors. I guess we could take pretender name warriors. And yeah, more warriors. Okay. And pretender is uh, ETB, right? So pretender triggers twice for those uh, those mentors. I don't think we're playing any of this. We'll take Vault Progress. Nah, I'm never playing a Dust Wielder in this deck. Hmm, we can consider Cardor. Not blue enough at all for Draugr. Start an entry for today's event. Well, yeah, the Sentinels may have to come in not only for the top end, but because of. Uh, enabling path without having to have necessarily basics. Yeah, no, no glittering frost is pretty devastating. And also no, literally no searchable snow green. So this uh, binding the old gods does not get us a snow land. The only payoffs we have snow wise are the ice hide trolls and so I don't know, this this is part of my, I guess the, the sculptor though is a payoff in that we get to untap these, but it's, yeah, it's really like we, 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 we invested a lot of picks into snow duels that don't matter too much here other than uh, pathing. Well, I like cut to three colors, but then I, I I'm gonna keep with if we're I feel like we should do the path thing. But we can definitely cut red, have it be uh well we can cut like I, I think we still want Arnie though. Is that fair? Cut Cardor. All right, you want to see pathless Obzon? But I think even in Obzon, we pay, play path. That's the thing. Like, this just fix, even if we're three color, it, like, it fixes, right? It's not, it's not glamorous, but I think even in three color, we would, we would want to play that, right? Yeah, but two off colors we could cut, so that would be, like, the Fjord, right? And, um, well, Floodplain... Ugh. I guess we have some foretelling. I don't love this again. Not loving where we landed. Yeah, this is more of a two for us. We could add in shield mate. I don't know how reliably we are white on two though. And if you're not reliably casting the shield mate on two, I'm really not in for it. And Yeah, we're not. We, 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 this is how we're winning up here. Maybe we hope. We do have the warrior count for pretender? We just cut the troll. Yeah, I did cut the Arnie.
Do we cut the mirror lake or do we keep that package in? Could do this and then we're at that point really never doing the path. Yeah, which it, and if we're just not doing the path, we could cut a sentinel. Because basically to, to get, I mean, we have a, and then if we're not doing the path, we just cut the floodplain. Ice Eye Troll is getting worse by the cut. One, two, three, four is pretty bad. Also the uh, sculptor, right? So maybe we just need to suck it up and play some of these. See, that's why I just end up leaning back towards the world tree plan anyway. The Meyer, yeah. Yeah, I think we I think this is basically the deck minus a couple of cuts. So let's find the cuts here. Perhaps with path and sculptor we can cut a basic. Cut a planes, you know. And then we have only seven green though. Again, remember we all of our green has to be natural. Uh leaving us with uh yeah, I kind of want to play zero planes, right? I think we can. Except uh, we do have Horizon Seeker. Yeah, we're fine with no searchable blue or red, but I don't think we're fine with no searchable uh, white. And I have a redemption on this front anyway, so... Oh, we still can't put lands in the sideboard, huh? I guess it doesn't matter. They'll let us do it mid-sideboarding anyway. So, how many do you have naturally here, Black? One, two, three, four, five natural black sources plus, call it six with the path. And... We want at least seven there. Oh, really? Yeah, you want... Yeah, that's true. Maybe we just need too much for it. Like, we just have to be risky. Now, this is where I hate this, because, like, the I know the man is going to get me at some point, but, like, we need at least... If we don't have eight forests, what are we even doing, right? Like, eight's, like, just the minimum. Yeah, I think we need nine. I'm saying eight, like it would be in, it would be just flat wrong to do seven is what I'm saying. Eight, maybe you could argue, but really we just need nine, right? And that means we probably just want to run 17 lands, which I also don't love because 17 lands plus path plus sculptor is a, a sentinel. It's a lot of picks dedicated to mana, but I think that's where we're at. What's up, Oni? And so then uh, what are we doing to cut the last couple here? We got 17 creatures, which is great. Uh, towards the end of the dra draft, we were looking at like eight in the, de in the deck at the time. Uh, maybe, oh, where is the, I hate this Glade Warden. I mean, it is a warrior for like the Pretender, but I feel like this, I, that card never works for me. I feel like cutting that. Way down is a, is a later play, I suppose. We can cut the way down. We need two cuts anyway. I've 
almost never seen the warden activated for value. Mostly its value is that it's a hill giant changeling. Yeah, we're at 40 because but I cut I cut uh this is having cut the warden that some people seem to really want in. Well, I'll tell you what, I could use a buyer break anyway. What what like uh so I'm gonna do a poll and then we'll get going. So I'm gonna cut yeah, I'll cut a verdict as well. And now, because that's that's one of the ones I was thinking of, since we do have two poisons, although two poisons and a binding becomes then our like our, our only removal. Um or fine here, we'll we'll do what to cut because that way uh we can put all these in. No, I think people agreed on the way down, right? It was really uh what was the what was the other verdict, right? So Yeah, we could cut feed. Yeah, the feed and the I didn't count the feed in my removal. That's important. It's a good one. I think we still keep it. Uh, it might be a later play, but I'm not cutting the the feed. And I don't think we want to run this either. Our red is incidental for world tree purposes, but I don't want to have to cast anything for red. Can tanking? Can tacking? Uh, we have we. We have fixing, but you can still get too greedy with it. And we're actually really tight in certain areas of our fixing. So, well, we can't, we have a snow covered swamp and a swamp currently, and we do have a horizon seeker. So it is uh, fetchable with that. But yeah, maybe I'm being greedy on the feed. We'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a try though. Uh, this is uh, green. No, I don't know. Yes, because I'm gonna do a poll. Uh, we got sleeves. No. Oh, here. All right, okay. Oh, yeah, that worked. Yeah, that was a little rough. I don't want to put green in the title name, too spoilery, but this is fine, uh, except for the what to cut. So, uh, nominations to cut. Were Verdict, uh, Warden, that being the Glade Warden here, this Hill Giant Changeling. Verdict, Warden, and then what was the other one? Mentor? No, I want the second Mentor. Sentinel times two is a bit rough, but I think we need it. Creature count is at uh, unreadable. Hold on, let me do this. Seventeen seven currently. I feel like what else? There was something else we were talking about cutting though. No, not playing uh, low drop white. No. And leaving the ice eye trolls in, they're uh, they're too good. Once we do get our double snow, uh, all right. I'll put Sentinel on the list, but I don't know if I mean if if it's landslide Sentinel, maybe. But I think we need both Sentinels here because of it's just the the shape we're in. 
but I'm going to take a quick break and be right back to play this out a bit. And I'll, I'll do other, maybe uh, maybe you'll remember what other one we were considering, but I think probably Verdict or Warden here is what I'm thinking. You let me know what you think. Hey, gang. People want to cut a verdict? All right, I'll cut a verdict. And I'll show you how much this warden stinks. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate that, G guards. I'm with Bucket. That's my position. I've ignored and beaten every warden I've seen cast, but chat wants to see it. I don't think this deck is great anyway. Something's got to go in there, so let's do it. Throwing up a par poll. You can tell me how well you think this deck is going to do. If we ran it back a zillion times, what would our average win rate be? I'm going to, if we get two wins, I'm going to fist pump. I think this is kind of a one win affair, one, one, 1. 1.5 type in my estimation. But let's see how it goes. We can keep this. Uh, tap land, not bad. I could have played a forest and I guess verdict, but I like getting this down. We're not casting this verdict anytime soon, it doesn't look like. Next turn we can double foretell, if nothing else. Double foretell it is. No ability to cast the cup yet without the sentinel, but the basic land gives us Lindy next turn if we're willing to tap the recluse to get it out early. Style points. Foretell mid combat. tap down the recluse anyway so we're not going to get in for four so let's go ahead and get lindy out well we don't even need to tap like it doesn't matter like we're just gonna do it they'll tap lindy but okay i guess then they can iron verdict lindy right I don't love it, Jinx. I still don't. I think it's um, a necessary evil in this deck, but there's a reason that there were a lot of voices asking to cut the second Sentinel. Troll, but we just want a rootless you. They're gonna knock down Lindy. We're gonna swing away and drop a you. Uh, a little 
worried about the Doom uh, Doom Scar or whatever. Maybe I should uh, play Old Growth Total in case they have a Doom Scar. Because then I could still play this. Uh, it wouldn't be able to attack. Like, let's say they have Doom Scar. We would not necessarily be able to attack for. Um, but yeah, R Rootless U does get us the second Lindy. That's totally fair. Yeah. Totally fair. So let's make. Yeah, we'll do that. I like it. it I would actually, I would do the troll, I think, if we could, if we had a fourth forest where we could put it on the fourth forest, sack, and get a 4-4, four, four, but we can't even do that. Uh, my, we'll have six mana. The point, you know, yes, okay, maybe, maybe uh, Lindworm doesn't land the next turn after the Wrath, but we will have a Lindworm ready to come forth. And so in this case, we at least get the troll. And if they kill this, I mean, we have the sixth mana now, but if they were to kill this, this actually helps us make the uh, sixth mana. They'll icy that, but then I gotta start icing this. The real problem is their card, uh, the, 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 the number of cards we're trying to beat here. Saw it coming. Double black haunting us. Maybe we do need to cut that. Uh, we're only going to start by getting this tapped. Boy, our fixing's really not that great. It's really uh, ta taxing. I, pro I probably should take this out. You start to feel like in a in a three plus color deck, you've just got so many duels and stuff. It can feel like you have good mana when actually you just have chaos mana, which is kind of, I feel like where we're at. Oh, sorry, I'm, uh, yeah, we can at least, uh, try and kill this thing. Yeah, we really, there was that one green white snow duel we passed on, which ended up turning out, like at the time we passed on the green white snow duel, we didn't know how white we were gonna be at by the end of the draft. So I think that's kind of what got us there. Shocking.
No, we don't really have uh, artifact hate. And this game is slipping away here. Robert, it was a uh, the, the the use the uses for Iron Verdict are narrow enough against an opponent like this that I was in smoke them if you got them type territory for that, uh, especially with a poison the cup behind where we can take out a, another real threat that that shows up like this. Uh, in fact, I think I'm just gonna kill that now. Try. You really see this coming? A lot of a lot of people offering cuts, not a lot of people offering what we're putting in instead. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Like if if we like if we like the first one, why are we like why is the second one that bad? I mean, the the, the benefit of the second one is that it increases the chances you're actually going to get a sentinel when it matters, which is in the first six turns of the game. I mean, not that it can't matter at other points, but you know what I mean. But it, it's it. It's at its most relevant early, so... Oh, yeah, I don't have the CBL open. Thanks for that. Get that going. Hold the land for right now. They don't look to be showing much black, but there's some. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe we do have an invoke. I don't know. I, I don't uh, have a f good handle on what all is in our board right now, actually. send in the mentor in the sense that a trade with either of these is ostensibly okay especially with ice hide troll behind um but i also might want to just get wider before we do attacking of any kind uh, maybe we get our second black and we can remove one of these things so i'm gonna say no attacks here and just play the troll rather than uh ask for uh trades right now I don't want to simplify the board if there's a chance that I can do it in our favor with a black. Like, I, I don't know, maybe it, maybe it doesn't matter and the mentor is going to trade with one of those things. Well, there you go. Look, see, if you had attacked, I just knew there was a glorious protector waiting. That's all. Interesting choice. Do we have any? Now I want uh, aura removal. No, we don't have any of the uh, the white, the bound in gold. Bound in gold would be hilarious after they chose to do that. Although maybe they have their own sack outlets or something. Nothing kills troll. Oh, this troll, yeah. How does this kill it, though? Ah, Jarl, right. 
Object permanence is tough for me. It went away, so there's no Jarl. But yes, this one's indestructible. Interesting attack. I mean, I'll trade a 1-1. One, one. Do we have two snow? So this maybe means they have... Um, seems like they're baiting me into a block to try and, uh, and get the troll dead. You agree? Uh, we, where's our double snow? Yeah, we have, we have not double activation. We have triple snow, but not quadruple snow. I'm saying if we go to activate snow, they could remove it in response. That's what I'm afraid of. Well, Mentor, it's got Menace, so... I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say no blocks. Also, they're at 10. Like, let them attack. Maybe we can find our way past all this somehow. I'm like, I'm like, I like no block right now. Too suspicious. Besides, we're gonna draw exactly what we need. I don't know what it is, but it's right on top of our library. Here it is. Well... Kinda. It is a second black source next turn, and it's a second, a fourth snow source for double ice hide activation. So I am going to be patient now. Um, I am. I uh, let's. Oh, they're willing to offer the uh, troll. Yeah, I'll send the troll, but I'm not the trolls again. I'm now. Now that I have a fourth snow source, I'm going to be patient with this troll. I don't know why y'all want me to throw this troll away. Why do you want me to throw the troll away? Totally gonna pick this troll off the second I activated it. Guaranteed. I'm gonna send in this troll. In the deck? <laughs> what do you mean, math? Like, you, because there's a second troll in the deck, we just throw this one away? Or, or we, we take risks with this one? Yeah, because they want me to attack and, it, you know, they're trying to pick off this troll. I feel convinced of it. Mm, I'm not... Uh, the the That's two in the bush there, Math. I'm going to work with the one in hand. Might be more than take four here. They potentially have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They need one for the pillar, so really they have six. So they could pump it three times, but then we'd be wide and clear, and three is still not lethal enough or whatever. So yeah, I guess they could go pump, pump, pump onslaught, but if so, I'm gonna tip the cap, uh, applaud, and go to game two or whatever here. Natural Swamp off the top would be interesting. Oh, no, we still, uh, all, like, basically our black is heavily tied up in Ice Hide Troll, so it's unlikely we can play, we can attack with a protected troll and threaten the serpent. Yeah, one thing is we have a trampler, and if they go to block a trampler, and then we feed the trample blocker, that we get all of the trample damage. So a uh, single block on the troll with feed represents four damage. But I expect that our troll will now get tapped by the pillar, because we're showing that we're not falling for that. Like, they, they, they tried to get us to attack with both last turn, and we didn't, so now I figure they're going to tap old growth anyway. We'll see. Top deck would help. Hey, math, just for you.
Uh, let's... And then... Aha! So we will send this. Um, I don't think we feed pre-declare... Like, let's see... Are we sending the mentor is another thing here, but uh, we don't really have, like we could send, uh, if we just had one more attacker, we could we could try to threaten the whole shebang. Um, this likely gets them to one. That does make them single block, it's true. Um, we don't need three blockers back if we force them to block and kill something. Um, Right, so we we presume that uh, although we may need it, uh, yeah, for the Draugr on uh, Menace. So Draugr, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, Draugr can get pretty massive. Um, so we need. Yeah, I think we can only send Troll. The crackback is too good. And then we have uh, Mentor, Token, and Ice Eye Troll back. So we'll do that. And we have uh, we can do that with Feed the Serpent mana available. Yeah. So we at this point, we have Feed the Serpent and Regenerate Troll both available. Yeah, they tap one, but then we have two left to at least not die to one of the two menacers, right? And we have hard removal for one of them, too. So I, th I think we survived to untap. And then we're in decent shape if they go for some big push here. Especially if they go for a kill here. Yes, because exiling is leave the battlefield. But that's why if we feed before blocks, then uh, Jarl can block, but doesn't kill something for being damaged. What do you think? I think we feed, I think we take this and feed uh, before we start our turn, right? Feed if they do anything to kill us. Pillar gets rid of one of these, uh, then we have three lethal. Yeah, we could feed in response, but I but with three lethal threats, I think it's fancy play. They're going to tap down the troll anyway. So uh, thinking that we're going to get there on tap troll is wrong. We just need to take out the Draugr and hope. What? Do not feed? I'm feeding now. This is what makes sense to me. Watch my clock, though, Ryan. Yeah, not too far from Oppo, actually. Ooh. 
Well, well, well. We can't equip it and have two activation. But can we do, let's see, who should control their enchanted or equipped have double strike? We don't have any of those. Okay, so we just want to do the, um, Yeah, you're right. Activations don't matter. So we're going to play the sword. We're going to put it on our 1-1 one, one to make it also a lethal threat. I mean, it's it's weird because you you'd think you'd want this on something where if your thing dies, you get it back. But we want to go from four lethal threats to five and make Oppo stop five lethal threats this turn. That's the idea. So what we got. I don't know. They had like, I don't know how many cards do they have. If they had three cards, then I like doing it that way because they could go tap, bounce, 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 right? That you know, we got around we got around four things, and there is no yeah. What what could they have done at instant speed anyway? I'm not sure. All right, uh, what was bad against them? Yeah, uh, uh, ashore. Did we see enough for invoke? As said, you know, yes, this. Pillar was seriously annoying. Okay, there's a Draugr's Helm, too, that we know we could get. So that's a couple of things, at least. We do have, bind excuse me, Binding. But yeah, Feed was tough, although it ended up being a game winner for us, right? <laughs> oh yeah, did we not see what they foretold? Did, they, did it tell us? Iron Verdict. Yeah, so it looked like they had Iron... Did they use that Iron Verdict? I think they had an Iron Verdict that they didn't use. You might be able to justify the Mirror Lake anyway, but it's... Uh, oh, they used it? Okay. It was second Jarl. Yeah, I did. I just couldn't tell what was... Uh, Anyway, uh, 31 seconds here. Let's see. I want to... I think we can... The, the Invoke is interesting. The That pillar was devastating. Really difficult to play against. We can cut a Verdict, but they actually did end up tapping stuff. Um, verdict. Ah, I'm going to do it this way. So I ran out of time, uh, maybe not optimal, but I like having the invoke in and as rough as that double black was on the mana, it ended up being pretty critical. So I liked it. I'm going to keep this despite medium start here. Really hate not doing anything on two in the format and that's coming up unless we draw something. Uh, the deal five to tapped is what I ended up cutting. Uh, with nothing else to do on two, might as well play a tap. Yeah, maybe this is a Draw first, Sitch, not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and run out of Troll, see what they got. They might pick it off, but that's okay. 
Yeah, getting black is nice here. We have binding ready to go. How about you drop that pillar now? Uh, in that case, I would just use the invoke anyway. I said no block because I think ours is more valuable in the long run, but maybe uh, maybe you like just trade in there. That flyer is significant enough here that I'm kind of in for binding it. Uh, it does ramp us to uh, Lindy next turn as well. Oh, no, that enters tap, so it doesn't ramp us to Lindy next turn. Never mind, but it does ramp us. Just we won't get six mana next turn. I suppose I could have attacked first, Rob. They're just never blocking in a million years, though, right? Maybe I give them a chance, but, I mean, Oppo played reasonably enough that I just, was, just never expect that. I'm just saying I don't think it mattered, but I, but technically I suppose it was the uh, the technically correct approach. Yeah, now we'll swing first, of course. I mean, there's not we're not invoking it. There's no, there's no follow up anyway, so All right, Warden. You've never done anything for me except be a very medium 3-3 three, three for 4. You gonna do it different? Yeah, I mean, not much we can do about the priest taking out one of our things, right? Ooh, maybe they'll use the priest on the warden, which will be like the best use of the priest of the warden I've had in the format. Pulling removal from the priest. Could also just trade here. I'm fine with that, too. Um, we can wait. Also, let's see. I mean, uh, is this... Okay, you can target itself. We could wait and... Um, and pump. Mike wants to trade. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being snarky about the Warden, but I want to play for real. Like, I mean, it does do a thing. You know, we can wait and actually do the thing. Fenner says no trade, given the Lindworm coming. Um, the thing is, are they even going to let us? Like, although right now, uh, right now they don't have the, the snow for it, right? So... I'm going to say no blocks. I think we have the time. We might actually be able to get this going and and uh, I can make some real use out of the warden, maybe. Oh. They call me the seeker. Mm -hmm. I've been searching for a lindworm. All right, we do this. I didn't want to put the seeker out to uh, die to the priest, and we're not gonna we're not gonna lose. I like just getting Lindy out because then they're gonna think that their plan is to start. 
tapping the Lindy with the invoke. And next turn we get to Horizon Seeker and invoke the pillar before untaps, where they think, okay, we're gonna tap down the Lindy, and then we're like, boom, dead pillar. I'm like, ooh. Why didn't I invoke on their turn? Because I like I like six sixes for six that gain me four? I don't know, that's all I got. No, we did we the only time we had mana to invoke was on my turn, and that would have been over the Lindworm. Yeah, Glade Warn is sorcery speed. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We could spend three on the warden if we want, leaving us five behind that we can go uh, recluse with. But I really want to invoke this turn. So I'm going to go for the Horizon Seeker. All right, let's go for the recluse if they want. This seems like the thing they might go for, right? But let's also start with them uh, giving a chance to tap down. So uh, move to attacks. Let's do that. Could even send the Glade Warden, but now maybe they would be the ones doing the blocking. I'm going to continue to be patient on that front. I think the Glade Warden can actually do its thing and 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 be more useful to us on that front this game. I'm going to try. I mean, that's the point of the thing. So let's try and make this work, actually. And then I like the Spider because it's actually less useful to me than the Seeker for right now. And if they want to use the Priest on it, that's cool. And if they want to, you saw it coming, etc. But we may need to play around saw it coming here. Uh, it feels like invoking the pillar is pretty important. And they seem to be saving saw it coming mana repeatedly. Like, I bet they don't do anything here. They pass with mana up. Ah, okay, we can invoke EOT, but it gets countered. Are we cool with that? It gets countered, and they even have a mana left to, to keep tapping. Oh, yeah, they can't. But I think they already had it. I think the I think Saw It Coming is already waiting in the wings. All right, well, let's uh, let's let's see. Then maybe or maybe they'll yeah, they might counter this. Let's see if we can draw out a counter. That allows us to invoke. I think that would be correct. That would be great if we could do that. And um, this might scare him right here. I'm going to start here. Let's see if we can get a counter out of him. This is too scary, right? How do you let that resolve? All right. Uh, I guess we do get our second swamp. I did leave the... I mean, third swamp, I guess, but... Certainly not need no need to get more forests is what I was saying. It was our only choice. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can even go uh warden and still have invoke. So let's uh let's go for big spidey. All right, we kind of figured something like that was going to happen, but now we've got our invoke uh, freed up. So, whew. All right. I disagree. This is. I agree, Fenor. High floor, occasional upside cards are very good, but high floor implies. I mean, we just disagree on high floor. The, my problem with this card is that the floor is low. The floor is a, a a three three for four, which is just very 
medium in today's magic. It's not, though. I don't think it's fine. I think it's distinctly below rate, and you're very unhappy to play them. Like, are you ha you're just you're happy running hill giants? Come on, nah. Changeling is the only thing that saves it. I mean, but okay, so you really need changeling going on then. We don't give a crap about changelings except we got like one, one, that one artifact. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, okay, we can go. Actually, I just like uh, attack, lindworm only, and then you after combat. Yeah, I'll grow the Seeker next turn when we're going to attack with it. I'm going to... Yeah, this is probably dead Lindworm. We know they have um, Jarl and whatnot. Uh, but we take a Draugr with it. So it's Draugr for Lindworm. And then we get a Rootless U after. And we get another Lindworm. So it's okay. We're going to keep pulling their uh, resources. Huh, why'd they do it that way? They're playing like me. I did that very early in the format. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel you, Oppo, though. I, I, I'm not going to tease Oppo. I've made this exact mistake early in the format. If Seeker dies to the priest, that's fine. I'm, I'm, if they want to kill the Seeker, that's fine. We, the, the secret is we don't, we can't seek the things we need for the path anyway. So who cares? Like, let them. Let them use their priest on the uh, seeker, and then we'll have uh, eight points incoming with them at 16. Seems good to me. Oppo flashed in Jarl to double block with Jarl and a 3-2, and in doing so... Uh, traded both Draugr and Jarl for the 6-6, six, six, whereas if they had just uh, chumped with the Draugr and then Jarled, they would have traded the Draugr and the Draugr only for my Lindworm instead of the Jarl as well. Yeah, playing around a counterspell that maybe wasn't there, but I still uh, like the patience. And this is where the Warden is uh, in conflict for me. Like, uh, we know they have uh, these deals five to tapped, but I don't want to take a turn to activate this. I'm going to send in, yeah, if it's another Jarl, it's Warden for Jarl. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, that's an 0 for 1. It's a tempo play that we're fine with, If uh, especially if this U lands. If they come up with counters, that stinks, but... Here's one of our natural red sources. There's one natural blue source plus a couple of those uh, sentinels, the one twos that can tap another creature to make mana. Yeah, I mean, that drew him some stuff, right? But we're going to keep the pressure on. Uh, I guess if we're worried about blood in the snow, we could hold back Mentor since it doesn't really change the clock. Right? Uh, although it would if they come up with one blocker. It's a tough spot. Uh, if they do blow up the world, we do get a Lindworm, but they have multiple cards back behind there. Yeah, let's, let's be a little patient, right? Fenor wants to play it. I don't know, Fenrir. We've seen the blood on the snow. Um, I don't generally play around rares I haven't seen, but we literally know they have that card. And 
And if they do have one more blocker, um, we have responses there too. Well, I'm not always right. We know that, but it, and it's it, I don't even know if uh, the time traveling supercomputer blesses that play. But I think so. I think it's right to play around the sweeper there, given that we know they have it in their deck. It didn't change the clock, but it changes the clock if they produce one blocker, which was uh, Fenner's point. Um, sure, let's... Again, we could play this as creature, but I think we just want to throw this on the Lindy, the, the equip. Yeah, they might bounce it. Uh, if they bounce it, we can replay Lindy, though. That's funny. Maybe we gave them an out. <laughs> Maybe they were just dead and we gave them an out. Yeah, that's true. They could have invoked the path to get the life. You're right. We gave him a better target, not an out. You're not attacking, are you, Appa? What are you doing? Okay, you're foretelling. Whew. I didn't understand that at all. Ice Hide Troll is solid. Solid as ice. Uh, if we double attack, they're going to chump Lindy and then they could just eat the 1-1. One -one. So the Lindy needs chumping anyway. No need to send the 1-1. Uh, the, the one All right, they're trying to set up so they have two snowlands to block a Lindworm next turn, but the Ice Hide, ice hide Troll is going to be nice for that uh, follow-up. Yeah, I don't, uh, Oppo is making plays that I've made more towards the earlier side of this format, so maybe they're just ju jumping into the format more recently. Or just seriously, just new to this set. Like seriously, I've made plays this rough um, at the beginning of the set myself. And here I am at five minutes uh, with only one win under the belt. I got a shot of him play now. So let me focus in, might make some mistakes, but I'd rather lose on my own mistakes than uh, to clock. So let me focus in here, gang. We've got a one, two, three snow, so our activation on troll is only one deep. That helps with that, but we don't really have time to mess around. Uh, it does give us our world tree. I still think we don't send that. Uh, they could make two, but they need to basically block both so we can... No, I'm still going to wait. There's still no need to send in the 1-1, one, one, I don't think. Because they still need um, to make lands and block. It's just they would still eat the 1-1 one, one for free.
I guess that would be the reason if they if we were expecting this specific block, which does make sense from Oppo. Now we'll see if the troll lives to untap. Nope. They had a good one for it anyway. Way down is going to get trolls no matter what. Yeah, I didn't really think about it. I just kind of honestly uh, considered the Shimmer Drift probably was on whatever they wanted it to be. Like, quote, Shimmer Drift is better. But yeah, double white makes sense. Poison the cup. Fascinating. Uh, we're gonna send in and I can path the end of turn so we're just gonna wait on this Fenner says path now but they might we might have something relevant to hit with two right? Could have been lethal, huh? I had I saw three, but I didn't see uh, how we got f four. Maybe I missed something there. Oh well, <laughs> going back to well reasoned no attacks doesn't help me. All right. Did not give myself much time to do it with, but we got there. All right, got to play faster coming up. Yeah, like keep this sentinel into land, into pretender, into warriors. Thanks, Cregion. Good game to you. Ooh, this says I could actually go for a verdict foretell here. I'll do that. A lot of head games in that one. I'm gonna say no attacks. We do have Iron Verdict uh, as a surprise ambush here. Uh, not anymore. Oh, here, yeah. Uh, cardboard live. Not fully all the way in. Hold on. All right. CBL should be up now. And we get the same verdict play. Although I'm going to go for the this snow land. Uh, 
Um, they didn't come in. They're stuck on two. So we're just going to try and punish them. But starting with a an Ice Hide Troll attack. I guess I could put Mentor out and then I'd have extra mana. But mana doesn't actually help us here unless it's snow. I haven't done the full math, Robert, but they all, the, lately the mastery passes have been definitely less awesome. So far, they've still all come out slightly plus EV for the limited only player at 100%, right? That, that has been the case as far as I know. But you have to like 100% it, it's, it's that close. Feed the Serpent is available to us thanks to the Sentinel and the 1-1. One, one. Maybe we offer Mentor and Troll. If they trade for the Mentor, that's fine. Although we can Glade Warden. We already have a dead creature, so we could Glade Warden and make the Mentor bigger next turn and just send the Troll this turn. I think I'm going to do that. Be a little patient here. Yeah, that's true. I could have left up double snow. That's a good call. Very reasonable. Probably should have. I'll do that in the future. Warden is not instant speed. I don't know if that's part of your plan there, Mike. Troll. Troll -a -lo, -lo, lo I think I do like leaving up a forest. Uh, we can uh, go forest. Hmm. I do like, I mean, we can, with the forest behind, I like just offering the warden. I don't think we need to pump Ice Hide. I think we just send Ice Hide and then uh, see what they want to do. And I'm going to send the Warden. I don't care. I'm going to trade off the Warden if they want. And at this point, Mentor is not a bad trade off as well with the old, old growth troll behind. So I'm going to offer that as well. Close, but I think it's correct. And then I am going to leave up a forest so that if the old growth troll is killed, uh, we get to put it on this forest and activate it. They have dead creature. We don't have a target though. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and watch a chump like a candle. Dance. Now feed the serpent in the event of a double block on troll is just mega blowout. So we're gonna try and get him with that. Means we can't feed the serpent and ice hide troll both, but I think only one of those should be needed to turn this into a dominant attack for us if they don't have anything for that red white land that's up. Yeah, I'll just accept that trade.
Yeah, that's why I said it was dependent on wh whether this meant something, you know, if, th if they had something for the meadow. Uh, we can just leave all this up. Giant Wizard is going to throw at least two damage. So two damage is going to be thrown around Sentinel. But we could also, uh, well, let's let this land. Maybe it'll just feed the Ravager, and then only one damage is dealt. So if they go for the Sentinel, we even get to keep that. Oh, I thought it would work. Oh, it's because these are tied, right? Yeah, yeah. I needed to get rid of, like, the Vandal or something. That's all right. I think getting killing the Vandal would have done it, but I didn't want to kill the Vandal. I wanted to kill the four power anyway. So we just let that go. It's okay. I think it, I didn't puzzle that out correctly, but I think if I had, I wouldn't have used it on the Vandal anyway. <laughs> it wouldn't have been worth it. And now swing away, trample. Well, definitely here and here. Yeah, they got to block both, so we just send everything. Pretty close to lethal, if not. Hey, look, 20, almost 23 minutes left on my clock with a one win under the belt. I'm like LSV over here with my speedy play. So it looks like Oppo is gruel, but maybe some white, I don't know, question mark. I don't remember Oppo being stuck. I remember Oppo playing a valiant, incredible game that required all of my skills to overcome quickly. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, I'm with you on uh, feed out for Verdict in. This looks like a good matchup for Verdicts. What else? We do have that invoke. I don't see anything we want to invoke, though. Really just need to consider the aggro considerations we're up against here. Maybe a way down could actually work here, but we're taxing our graveyard with Warden. I could see way down in Warden out for that matter. Trouble is stuff isn't dead necessarily quick enough in our deck. I'm going to just run this. I'm never putting in white two drops whose quality is about their playability on two. Just doesn't seem good enough with, with without us being able to really count on white on two. You think Invoke should come in for what? Did we see something? I don't remember seeing a, a single thing. Are we just presuming they have equipment or something? Yeah, I can't do that, man. I can't just presume. I'm going to keep this, though. We have a Snowlands into Sculptor. That's cool. Actual ramp. Hey, Bat Meme, I played some of that action. Theros, that is. Uh, how about Seeker and Sentinel this turn? Next turn, we can uh, Lindworm on four.
not so much this anymore. But we can, let's see, with four mana, we could troll. Well, if I put this out, we can ice hide troll and foretell. If I don't put the planes out, uh, we can only do the troll this turn. That helps us better with Lindworm next turn, though. So I'm going to do that. Verdict, we don't need to foretell now for us. Uh, the, you know, value. Yeah, troll holding up two snow is interesting, although we can try and get attacks in. Um, but uh, not if we want to hold up the, uh, the troll activation, right? Not, I don't know how we can do that. I don't quite see it. I'm going to do this. Sentinel, annoying, but we do get a free attack in with a troll before we drop Lindy. They can't block. Hey, dive down. You can reach out at uh, goingoptimal at gmail.com. Ouch, but let's see. This is. We're going to kill this Firewalker now and after we attack. Although it doesn't even matter. We can even send in the Sculptor at this point. If they want to block the Sculptor, I'm cool with that. Um, it's not doing that much for us anymore. We even uh, save the Ice Hide Troll mana up instead of getting extra damage in. That's a deliberate choice of just feeling like I, I would much rather have a protected troll than, a, than an unprotected troll and ex extra two points of damage. They get four life, yeah, but we're handily ahead in the race uh, unless they drop something big. We'll see. Ooh, third snow. Well, I'm gonna, if I start pumping the troll, we take the lead. We have to do some, we have to take some risk, but uh, we do win the race that way. Uh, we could keep it back to block though. Uh, I just worry that like, they kill it, and then we've lost the, uh, then we've lost the, yeah, we can hold the troll back that way, too. Um, well, we assume a different risk, Tim Nose, in my opinion. We assume the risk of them picking off the sculptor and getting in with the 4-2 anyway, and us being down two. But that's the risk, and it's not that huge. So, yeah, we can keep this back. And in that case, I'm not going to pump here. We're going to can if we're playing defensive with the sculptor, I'm going to play defensively with the troll then, because we're saying that sculptor knocks out Ravager. They cancel each other out and two damage per turn wins. Right. So if nothing changes, we win. So I'm not going to go shields down on troll right now. I 
I see the path ahead of me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This eighth land means we can't fire off the path this turn. Well, actually, maybe we can. This is eight, nine. So actually, we could do the we could do the world tree this turn. Let's do that. But maybe uh, set it up for mid combat. We can get any land, right? We have literally have it all. Blue and red is right there. Yep, yep. So we can get the swamp. Yeah, we could just... Uh, I think... I think we send the troll, though. Let's see what they want to do. And we have the activation if we want to fire it off. We have it at instant speed, so... At least send the troll, and then now we can play the waiting game. Or if we don't want to mess around, we can fire it off, uh, like before they get this or something. Uh, but I think we can wait, because this needs two white, and they only they don't even have one white out yet. So this is a ways from firing off. So if this were one land away from happening, even then we just respond by doing the tree anyway. So I think we're fine. All fine. I kind of like Sculptor on Cavalry, try to take out the Ravager. Yeah, we could also just surprise Bear take out the... Yeah, let's use the Bear, right? Let's do that. All right. So I'm going to do this and this and this. Although, do we even need to block? Maybe we just want to crack back with that. Seems like getting rid of a cavalry is great, though. I'm going to do it. Well, we really uh, drew a lot of action with that path, huh? Well, we sort of cleared the forests there. The little clear cut off the top of our library. We have four snow duels, so I'm going to start uh, getting an extra two per turn here. Well, five, really, with Sculptor, too. But mainly we have two activations is the, the main thing. I'm going to go like this, though. Now we threaten lethal as well, so the this becomes a forced block. They only have the one snow right now, so they don't have an eternal chump either. Outrider, a fine draw as well, after all those forests. An elf emerges from them. Oh, yeah, swing all was correct. Sorry. I just got distracted. I be stroking. That's what I be doing. <laughs> I be stroking. Should be at three. I got away with one there. I'll take it. I got away with one with this draft. I'll take a thousand. I don't care if we win the next match or not. I'm really happy to have two wins with this deck. I was not impressed with where we were at by the end of the draft. Norbert liked it. Eh? I'm not saying I was right. I'm just saying I wasn't impressed.
just has too much that felt like it could go wrong with it. And the mana is pretty rough. The, the, if the mana were better, I would like it. Looks like we have all this mana, but the, the mana is really tricky and tight in this deck and needs some need some luck on that front to more to a more of an extent than I would like. Hmm. I think we gotta keep this on the strength of Sentinel and any land in the deck getting us to recluse on three, so I'm gonna keep. All right, there's our any land. I'll go ahead and drop it now. Well, actually, I'll play the forest in case, uh, like, there's the, the troll, right? Troll is a legit reason to lean forests when given the chance. The green, green, green rare we first picked. You mean, like... For mobile? I don't know about uh, when it's going to be on iOS mobile, but it's like it is available for Mac at least. Let's see. I guess we want... Pretender's going to be on Warrior, and if we get the Mentor out, it just gets huge. So let's go uh, Pretender on, on Warrior. Yeah, it's just... I'm just saying, in general, I want to increase my forest count. But you're right, it didn't matter for the turn after. But just as a as a heuristic, so I don't have to think too hard about it, uh, leaning forests early seems correct for the deck. That's true. Unlikely that they're going to block, I suppose. Maybe I should have. Well, we made it. Uh, we have to use our turn for it, but I think it's totally worth sinkhole mentor double pumping the pretender. Why is that so bad for us? Cause just cause Oppo has a lot of snow. I mean, sure, Oppo's got a lot of snow. Wow, a lot of snow. That's cool. Don't worry, everybody. Oppo's going to dump their hand, and then they won't be able to get much value out of Yorn anymore. And I'll take this block. I mean, trade or trade for trick. Powerful priests. Might have to feed one of them here. Although even uh, even there, it's like I'm, maybe I just need to get the pretender above it and make him use two if they want to do two. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can even uh, potentially follow. No, we can't. Don't have quite enough mana to do that. Actually, I was just going to ask. I don't know, like, like branded sets. I, uh, I I can soapbox on it because I've been designing Lord of the Rings magic cards since 1994. Like the the using other IPs and making magic cards for them has been obvious forever. Uh, the fact that Wizards is doing it now is interesting, but I don't know what their long term plans are. They're not showing any ability to stop this. I'm going to send in. They don't have enough. They don't have any power, and those priests uh, do not. Activate it sorcery uh, at instant speed. Don't 
Does Hasbro have Tolkien though? I mean, is Tolkien like open source now or is that something that they got the rights for? I don't know. Well, send it in with the pretender. We don't have another warrior, so I'm gonna start here. Well, that's what I figured, Fenor, right? Um, I don't know. Yeah, and for 40K seems like a poor, for, poor fit flavor-wise, but the whole point of like what I was talking about, like I've been designing, you know, that, that magic, you could work, you can reskin the magic mechanics for any genre you want, right? The What's the uh, fake set? Uh, space the something-ing that, that somebody made as a basically a reskin of Alpha but just with space themes. Boo! Running this out there, obviously the priest can pick off one of these, but none of these are particularly valuable creatures anyway, so we're just almost encouraging the priest to do it. The real issue is going to be when the priest, uh, when they play Draugr, the, the Draugr's return to bring back both priests. That's going to be the... LSV was talking about that play on limited resources a bunch as a way to, as a way to leverage um, underdrafted cards like priest. And we'll see. If they've got that, we can't really recover here. But if they don't, we're just trying to trade off our uh, cards one for one for their removal and see what we can have when the dust settles. The Hawk is going to take over a long game. That's a little bit of a concern, but I still think we need to get Raven done, Raven dead before Hawk here. So I'm going to do that before untap and hope we draw something aggressive to pressure them Understanding that if we don't, uh, we're going to lose the long game to the Hawk, but I'm not willing to use the feed on the Hawk. I'd rather go for a win uh, uh, lever and, and with some luck off the top of our deck. That is not the pressure I was hoping for off the top, but I'll play it. And here we go, Oppo looting away lands while we're top decking and playing lands. So the the long game slips away from us, but this is what I was hoping for. Although of course now uh, uh, Ice Eye Troll blocks this indefinitely, but we'll we'll throw it out there and see what we can do about that troll. Maybe need to bring in uh, Dead Weight for this troll. Not many decks can legit run the Frost Augur, but Oppo's looking pretty darn close to a good one. Yeah, feed for troll also worth uh, keeping in mind. We know they're up to troll stuff now. And, you know, I could make him Linworm, but they could even uh, potentially kill it, so we just have to say no attacks. Boo. Uh, I'm gonna keep playing this because we do have we do have a troll now that if we if we top deck a troll we have double activation so I'm not gonna sandbag my snow land and yeah we are certainly ready for the world tree red blue white black green we got it all although now we can't take out the hawk we have to take out the auger more worms bomby maskwood nexus we're bringing in all the Artifact hate, we can. We do get a free attack here, that's something. Yes. 
Wherefore did not mean where. The question was, why do you have to be from a rival family? Right, I think. I, don't, I, I took a Shakespeare class in college, but it's been a while. So trouble is the ice high troll straight up eats a worm. <laughs> eats. Uh, what are we gonna do about the ice high troll this game? Uh, let's see, what do we got? Basically nothing, honestly. Like we we can't attack through the the troll. <laughs> I almost want to go to the next game and and uh, side <laughs> find troll answers. Like it's bad news bears, but well for now, I'm not gonna play this land because I am ready for double troll activation if it comes up. But between uh, our inability to attack into an ice hide troll and the nexus, yikes. David, thank you for the subs. Closing in on two years for David. Awesome. Just the one feed. Yep. There is literally nothing left in the deck that permanently answers an ice side troll. We have a few things more that would tap it down for a turn. Uh, this isn't the worst. Like, just uh, now um, replaying the worm every time. They can only kill one of them, right? So we can uh, send in... One worm. Or we can send in two worms and they can only kill one. But I guess if we send in two worms, they kill the one that's not equipped. So now we just have to send in the one that's equipped. Good news, everybody. We have, uh, we're at parity with a Maskwood Nexus. That's true. We can move it to the Sentinel. I'll think about that next time. Oof, that's rough. <laughs> Oppo rolling us. This is more what I expected to happen today. I feel great this is only happening in our third match. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know why they're not uh, just blocking and activating the troll once and then still doing everything else. Binding would be nice, sure. Land, not super useful here. We'll send in the attack and then move the equip at least. I don't think we're that unusual though, right? Like, uh, we're at still like 33% to draw land. Like, this is an unusual amount of land for being halfway through the deck though, is the thing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's just kind of normal. <clears throat> but it's a good meme. Say goodbye to flesh and blood. Poison the cup.
Well, I'll keep doing this. I don't know. What else? What else we got besides pressuring with lindworms? There, that's what I was expecting. But we can tie those lands up every turn. I don't know, what do we need to poison? I guess like we need to poison the Yeti? Yeah, that's true. I'll pull. Oh, in that fact, maybe I shouldn't have uh, foretold that because uh, now they probably go shields down, and I would have had a window. Let's try and get that maybe later, though. I like that idea. And I'm gonna leave the uh, shield where it is. I mean, I could move the sword, but to what and why? We move it here and it becomes a 3-2, uh, but it can't block the hawk. I mean, I guess it chumps if we just want to chump endlessly. I guess it, it chumps endlessly. That's fair. That's fair. I'll do that next time. Uh, but note the uh, the tap down they did do on the, on the mana. So we're going to want to try and get him to tap down again. Well, I think we'll get another one can tank can tacking, but yeah, I agree that if I had thought that through, I would have taken that window when we had it the first time. So I could take out the Yeti if they're going to try to get there all the way with the Yeti, but again, we're we're trying to get the uh, troll dead so that our stuff on the ground can attack. So we're going to keep to that plan here. But maybe if we can attack with two, uh, we can actually apply enough pressure. Trouble is now they have double activation up. Even with the uh, Nexus, they do it here. Maybe we can try to get him to counter something. I don't know. Something else. Not sure we're going to get another window the game in the game here. Oh, I should have moved it again. Sorry. I'm so distracted on trying to get this troll dead that I'm not thinking about the hawk anymore. But this is just unfortunate because, yeah, we can't do it here. That's true. If, we, if we've let the troll happen at all, I can't do it again. That's another great point. So maybe there's just no window for it. And I didn't even really have the window the first time, right? So that worry that we had missed our window with poison wasn't even true, because at that point, the ice hide troll was already indestructible. Yeah, I think I was tricking myself that we ever even had a window. So now I just need to get my head straight on at least... Uh, Bounce blocking with the uh, sculptor every turn or, or, or sentinel something. The sentinel has reach at least. So now, knowing that we can't really ever kill the troll, yeah, we should be killing the yeti, right? I mean, this is game one, 18 minutes. Let's not. I know I have my issues, but we're we're not uh, done for on the time front yet or anything. Well, it's another it's another thing we can attack with, so we're gonna keep it. Now we can attack with Ice Eye Troll and a shielded up, a sorted up Lindworm, right?
Yeah, it, it might be time to scoop it up for two, but I am going to give him one more chance to make a mistake here. You never know. Well, we're not going to pass them on time. I'm not going to try and recover our three minutes behind on time or whatever. That would be the reason to keep doing it is that we want to see more of their deck. But I think we already know what we're going to do for sideboarding anyway. It would just be like tactical prep. I should have been doing that already, Dark Star. I'm just distracted. We're going to I'm going to try and remember this turn. But we may be beyond the point of no return now with uh, the shapeshifters getting wider. That's true, uh, except we've already used the uh, removal. <laughs> and it also might be why they allowed the window anyway. Interesting. I guess they were just continuing to protect the troll, right? They didn't want to do the troll move in case we did have more removal. No, I think they really just didn't want to chump with the troll that turn. All right, everyone. Chill. I think we're close enough to scoop this, though. This is uh, not, not going to go our way. Let's move on. I'd rather have the clock. I think I'll... Have my win rate goes up by giving myself more clock there. So we want invoke, we want a way down. They've got some utility creatures where the verdicts are going to be fine. Too much tap land, too much useless color. Like, uh, we start putting blue sources in, and it just mucks up our ability to, to cast our stuff. So, what else then? If anything, maybe another verdict over the feed. But feed can't leave because it's one of our answers to troll. So I'm not cutting the feed. Why do I have two? I added uh, Iron Verdict and what else? Way down. Let's cut a Sentinel maybe. And... The Verdict? Verdict's good enough though. Maybe this Glade Warden. Something's got to give. I'm going to say Glade Warden. Since we're, we brought in way down, we're going to use that for fodder. I like the Mentor as a maker of two warriors for our uh, Pretender. Well, a bold keep, but I think we can. Uh, we get white, blue, red, black, green. Uh, we can get black with the path, and then we're a white source away from having it all. So I'm going to keep this. Yeah, that's a reasonable point. Rob's concerned that our pretender is just going to get killed by their invoke, but I think it's a good enough card to keep anyway. So I could path it here, and we only can get, uh, can't get, only, we're limited on what we can get anyway, so let's go ahead and do this. Get the, oh, we get the planes that we need, because then, um, 
with a flood plane and a regular planes, uh, we're only, well, I guess the swamp is harder to get. We're more likely to find planes naturally. I don't know. Huh, this is tough. Second black, I sense, I guess since we have the feed now makes sense, but we, we can't world tree yet is my point. It is the right choice because of this. Just observing that we, we're not there. We're not quite there yet is my point. And now we are. Great. However, if we drop a, an ice hide troll here, it's likely to get picked off by the priest. Boy, priest is great against ice hide with a lot of snow. Why do we need two white? Because we need one blue for a world tree. We cannot get both the white and the blue we need for world tree out of this land. So we got to get white somewhere else. Uh, I'm going to not play the troll into the death. That plus priest is awfully nice. So now we may have to like exile the priest. That's kind of funny. So more just tap land, I guess. Try to get to a path. I mean, we can play recluse and they could kill it and just, but then they just recur. That just seems so wrong. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Yeah, I'm in danger. Yep, not looking great for the home team, although we do have a path coming up. I don't know what to do here, gang. I right, feed the priest and... Oh, that is so sad. I'm going to give it a little more time. I can also do it at instant speed anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So now I really don't want to. I think we're just dead. <laughs> like, what are the, what are, how do we win this? <laughs> I said we. I was totally happy with two wins. And while Chris is here, I'm going to show him my account bug, see if Chris knows about this bug. Remind me. To show show Chris. Oh yeah, we did side in the invoke for sure. Uh, I'm gonna just go my turn. I don't know what we're doing yet. Like I don't know. It doesn't seem like getting rid of one of these doesn't do anything. I don't know why we'd do that. I'm gonna go ahead and foretell this. We'll scare him. We can't invoke Nexus. That's. Oh wait, uh, yeah, but we don't we don't know where they. Oh yeah, if we if we find invoke, it's got to be Nexus. That's the thing, right? We can't even do this. Uh, that's why we're so dead. We're so dead. Like we need to answer both of these, and we do have uh, we do have two answers though. We have binding and invoke. We just need binding and invoke like as our next two cards. We'll give it a chance though, because that is our out, right? We've got two answers in our deck. If they're very close to the top of the library, and Oppo is missing out on other stuff, we could be there. We could get there, but it also means there's no sense playing things into the priest right now. I think you got to get the Nexus first because it's like producing this inevit inevitable go wide that is really rough. Uh, I don't want to use the feed yet if I can help it. I'm going to pass. Poison the cup is more removal uh, on stuff we don't really want to use it on. Uh, we do have full world tree here. 
So, yeah, I could do this to set up the scry, but we can path now. Let's see if they, uh, let's do that on their turn, though. We path now while they're truly tapped out, except for this stuff. Um, but they can't counter the path, really, so I'm just going to do this on their turn. Now I like it. All right, come on. We really need our very, very specific tools to handle the inevitable cards that are getting us here. One, two, three, four snow lands. At least says Lindy lives, so we're gonna play Lindy. And I'm gonna go ahead and poison or foretell the poison. It takes us off Iron Verdict right now, but I really want to get the uh, for the, the Scry two so that we can find our inevitable answers. Their inevitability, our inevitability answers. All right, everyone, chill. Yeah, if they want a double priest, that's good too, I suppose. I don't know what else to do, though, besides try and find something. Um, yeah, we're just way far behind. Let's... I'm going to poison the uh, the raven. I'm doing it now, digging, because I want to dig. I want to see what's coming up. There's one of them. There's one of them. Uh, I'm actually going to think we've been the old growth, because... It's not, I mean, we really just need our enchantment, our, our removal, or our artifact and enchantment interaction. So I'm going to get rid of the troll looking for the other one. Don't want to have the U die, but we can ice hide troll, but then they can minus it and it kills that. Um... I like the idea of feed on the priest so that they can't double kill the Lindy. I think that makes sense to me. I'm gonna do that. And yeah, we can uh, go ahead and foretell this as well. And we even have the Iron Verdict for the Giant, for the Strider, although that can just come back in for this. So we don't want to kill snow things, we want to kill non-snow. Well, feed the Berg. This is the one that we can let not die. Like, we can just have the Berg not die, whereas we can't do anything about them deciding the priests are going to die, right? Like, like, they can recur the priests on their own. They need us to recur the Strider. Unless they self-kill, or is this Oppo? Yeah, I guess they could kill their own Berg Strider for funny shenanigans. And I think we just need to verdict a token here. Can't verdict Strider, they just recast and that's no good for us. Or we can just take it all. Uh, at 16, four, uh, five, six, seven, we drop low, but not devastating. Trouble is, yeah, just using the verdict feels so wrong on one creature. I'm gonna pass.
Yeah, I like that's interesting. Verdict Strider, EOT, and then buying the buying the uh, staff. I like. Yeah. I like that line. Waticus. I can totally win two games against this opponent with this deck in eight minutes and 37 seconds. Shut up. Poison the priest, or yeah, I think we do a troll and poison the priest and see if we can. Oh, you like just like you? Yeah, I like you. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I like that. Let him go ahead. Let the priest kill the uh, you, and we'll get our other one. Right? That's fine. And uh, at nine, gotta leave that back though. I don't want to kill you and have a big swing out with us at nine, four, five, six, seven. We'd basically nearly be dead. Fenris says we got to risk the attack. I didn't like it, but maybe I maybe I was supposed to. Uh, tried to tried to set the stop, but missed it. I was going to poison on upkeep potentially here, but now I think we want to just poison mid-combat. See if they go for a double block that we can blow out. Yeah, but let's give them a chance. One, two, three, four. We cannot troll with activation and cannot recluse without going shields down on poison, so I'm gonna pass here. Yeah, maybe, but I like poisoning here. We just poison the recluse. Predator. We do have a warrior behind. Let's keep the pretender. Pretender. Let's keep the pretender. Although, yeah, I know I need to naturalize. I suppose. Sorry, I'm just playing fast now because I'm nervous. I do, I'm going to run out of time. There is an overwhelming them strategy here, though, that could work. They're going to trade a bunch off for one uh, lindworm here. And then, uh, then they're making one per turn, and we're crashing with a lot of stuff. So that's what I was thinking, that this actually does set up for a significant pressure, so...
I'm gonna throw this on the recluse. Not sure that's correct, but I gotta play fast. One secure six minutes for part two. Uh, sideboarding time is not tied to game clock, so we can take a breath. <sighs> we came up with a plan and executed it poorly, and it was still good enough. There you go. Hmm. I'm just gotta be disciplined and uh, no, you don't have to do chat. I just need to focus on my game here. Um, maybe I need to get lower. Help me with the sideboarding though. Do we wanna get the Glade Warden back in and like cut top end? Or do we just need to count on this? Yeah, maybe Pretender for Warden, since we did, again, see uh, uh, Artifact Hate. Although we do have Artifacts we don't want them to get. So I kind of like the Pretender still in. I might like the Warden in over something like the Outrider, just a little lower. Yeah, but I still don't love it, right? I'm going to run it back and just hope we draw well. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna focus, I gotta focus on my game, punts and all. Better to win because I made bad plays than I ran out of clock. Or better to lose because of bad plays than running out of clock. So I'm gonna try and do that here. Don't like this opener though. We do have a potential old growth on three with a double forest. We are on the draw, so we're likely to get draws. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan because I don't wanna count on that as our plan. This I like better. And I'm going to ditch Lindy for now because she's a bit far off. Frosty the Augur. We're going to path on two, getting Swamp. Recluse on three. Hopefully a land gets us binding on four. I'd like to see one significant targetable thing come down here. Ah, uh, it's tough. I was not specific enough. It's indestructible. I can target it, but it does not help us. Dang it! That just kind of ends the game. I, I, what do we do about that? Uh, I guess we can uh, be sad. Like, just be sad. We can be super, super sad. It has to attack. Okay, that's what we do about it, right? It has to attack. Okay, so that case, uh, we go poison or try to go troll. Shields down on troll for a turn, and then um, then we do have activation, potentially. I'm going to go ahead and block. Here, I'll even minimize chat. Now I don't even have chat up. It's all up to me. Uh, fifth land is good. Uh, they have one, two, three, four snow. That's pretty powerful on this board. Might need to use binding on the priest just to uh, keep the clock going. I'm going to do that. 
I know we want to use binding on something else, but we need to be hyper aggro anyway, and this allows us to accomplish that. I know this also lets them crack back for cards, but I can't worry about card disadvantage either. I, with my clock, I'm just trying to get them dead fast, and if we get there, great. If we don't, we tried. Uh, next, I want to drop a U so that if it dies, we get the uh, Lindy out of it. I don't mind searching for a forest here either. Although uh, yeah, I can't get a can't get anything but a forest. One top, two bottom. Uh, let's see. That's unfortunate because if we have to pump the troll, we don't get to cast anything else except we can foretell. So I'm still going to do it because of that. But I expect maybe they block Inga on uh, Recluse anyway. Yep. Black? Swamp, swamp, swamp. No swamp. But we can send in. Probably trade off Outrider for you. Maybe, we'll see. Oh, they're just going to take that, all right. So we're going to go Mentor. And, oh, we can even go Outrider uh, Fortel Poison. I assume they have to priest here, but we have removal behind. Ooh, hello, friend. I'm gonna feed the recluse. Leave that. Go, 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 go. I'm not going to play the Master Sword now because we can't equip it. We're just going to attack in and hope to get there. You all owe me a Coke. The internet owes me a Coke or something. <laughs> Who was it? Who doubted me? Step up, doubters, and bow before me. Yeah. Nice. I don't have them set up on my soundboard yet, but here, here I'm going to give you a, a a teaser of what I downloaded last night. Let's see. This is this is. I, f I feel like we need more celebratory stuff around here. Like, I got all these "you lost" memes, but I don't have enough uh, celebratory memes. So I downloaded a bunch of uh, a, a bunch of these. Here's one of them. There's a there's a 
somebody, they took the David Lee Roth uh, vocals from Running with the Devil and isolated them into little, uh, those, are, those are David Lee Roth shrieks from uh, Running with the Devil. And thank you for all those subs. I don't know if that was uh, one person who made it rain gift subs or a bunch of people who jumped in. Norbert, thank you, Norbert. Very kind of you. Yeah, the, the, if you look up David Lee Roth soundboard, you can basically find the source that I had for those for 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 these. But yes, I'm going to I'm going to get a David Lee Roth section going and then uh randomize these on winning. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to show Chris this bug. It's not on this account, so let me log to my other account. Thank you, YouTube friends, for hanging out for this one. Really appreciate it. That was an unexpected 3-0. I, uh, it, you know, it's magic. Maybe it was our turn for some variance on our side, but uh, I was not expecting to max win with that deck. So I'll take it. Uh, so this, Chris, this is a bug I'm experiencing with this account only. I basically don't have, I can't make decks. My decks are busted. Uh, but let me actually hop here. I'll say goodbye to YouTube officially. Thanks for hanging out, YouTube friends. We'll catch you in the next draft. Uh, fun 3-0 there. Not expecting that. Tight, interesting games. Pay no attention to the punts. All right.